Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching the Neil Wimmicks Introduction Pack. Today we are on level 14 of advanced training and it's called A Different Kind of Space. This is one that I have been forewarned about by Ecotalot, said a lot of people had some, some troubles with this one and just looking at the mini map I can kind of see why certain people might have been upset by this level. I see a lot of pickup skills, uh, 8 Wimmicks gotta save 8. I imagine we're going to be using what we learned in the last three levels to get through this one. But there's no time like the present. I think we're probably going to be devoting most of today to this. Although if worse comes to worse, I'm going to admit right out front, I can't always just look it up. Some people have paved the way, recorded themselves going through these levels. Uh, if it just becomes too tough for me, I will just... Uh, I will just defer to greater expertise than my own. Remember the, yep, yep, there it is right there. Remember the lessons learned in the last three levels. So what that was, was um, going in order of the levels we played, uh, canceling out platformers. Um, okay, so we learned how to cancel out platformers. We learned how to uh, make women's block so that they go up through the steep steps. And... Um, we also learned how to, what else? Mm. That when they fall, make a blocker turn them around in mid-fall. And then there was a third level with a thing where they're teleporting. When they do things while they're going through the teleporter, they continue to do them when they come out the other side of the teleporter. So yeah, wow, yeah, so... Already struggling to kind of put all those things together in my head, and I will need them all to solve this mess of a level. That is not very encouraging <laughs> when you call it a mess of a level right out front. Yowie zowie. Okay, what's going on here? All right, a release rate of 99. Yikes. Okay, that's chaotic. Uh, it is a single screen level, though. We only have a finite amount of space to work with, so maybe it won't be too hard to determine where pieces fit Although they're both coming out, they're both coming on strong. And is the and are these little rocket thrusters? Are they bad news? They are. They're traps. Jet fuel does in fact melt lemming beams. So okay, so we go through here. Okay, so if he goes in, if one goes in, yeah, the rest of them just basically eat it. We got to save everybody. Okay, so one lemming will go in there, and that's going to make it so. Okay, I'm okay. I'm gonna break out so far. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough to sort because one lemming is gonna need to do a platform here, and one is gonna need to do a platform here. There is an extra platform to be picked up. Um, huh. Okay, so the first puzzle is gonna be getting everybody to survive this. And let's see. Way we're gonna do that is okay. I'm gonna let one lemming go through first. I'm gonna see what happens with these guys up here for a second. All right, so I'm gonna have this one block. I think that's okay. Do we have a cloner? No, no. Everybody who comes on screen is gonna survive the whole time. So. If this one goes forward, okay, we've got two shimmiers. Alright, so I want to see what happens here first. Okay, so we got, we're going to cancel out, okay, I think what we're going to do here, alright, he's going to go in here, and he's going to come out here, I think. Okay, so, and then he is going to cancel, yeah, okay. Okay, no, he comes out here. Okay, that's worrisome. Maybe I want him... Hmm. Okay, so they're all gonna go through the outdoor here. So that's troublesome. How do I save them then? Okay, we got this going at least. We've got boink, boink, boink. Okay, that's... That's certainly interesting. How are we gonna... Okay, so if he goes out then... Hmm. Alright, so if he goes out 
through here. I thought he would come out through here. But I guess that's not going to be the case. So... Maybe what we want... Okay. I think we still want one to go through. Mm, yeah, I think we still want one to go through here. And maybe he's going to do something for those comrades. But they have to be quick on the draw to get... Okay, yeah. So the problem there is... Yeah, he goes into there. That's all cool and good. But you can't get across here quick enough, really. Okay, yeah. So the walker... We don't have a walker yet. What do we have? We don't really have anything useful that will keep them from dying. So maybe the... How would you turn them around, though, then? Okay, I can already see why this is frustrating for a lot of people. There's... We have to get across to here, but we have to keep them all alive. And we only have one blocker to do it with. And... Hmm. Gotta climb up the wall... How do we... How do we preserve these guys. Preserving these guys is going to be important. And it would be a lot easier if we had the blocker, but this guy doesn't finish his duties fast enough for that to be a thing. Okay, so I do want to see it kind of in action, though. So we get to here. He's in and out. Okay, he goes out to the left. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to keep these guys safe. I think it's more important to keep these folks safe. Alright. Alright, so if we bash through... Let's go onward a little bit. If we bash through here... Okay, you go through there. Okay, it creates a loop. Okay, another basher is created yeah holy moly how does okay how does the puzzle work okay so if we free them what happens is hmm no if we okay so if we if we leave them to block if they're blocked in and doing fine Okay, a problem comes here if we climb and shimmy over here. That doesn't get anyone anywhere, really, because what happens here is... Okay, so then these guys go. One goes forward. And they're going at the same time? It's obviously more important that these guys be salvaged. But... How? Okay, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get a little started with a hint. Because I just have no idea where to go. Even just at the very beginning. But if I know how to keep them safe at the beginning, then maybe the rest of it will fall into place. Okay, this first bit of business is something I would not have figured out on my own at all. And it actually took a, a while of watching the Flopsy video. He was as confused as I was. But... Now that I've seen this bit, this doesn't seem very intuitive to me. But what happens here is you he goes in here and then we put a blocker right here. This is how we get these guys blocked right here. And I don't think I would have figured that out on my own. So when he comes out of here, the blocker goes in and comes out blocking. He goes through doing the task that he was assigned when he blocked. But you're kind of using the the slowness of the teleporter to your advantage there, which is odd and not immediately obvious, like, at all. But now that I've seen that, I wouldn't have figured that out. But the rest of this, I think I can... Let's try to piece out the rest now. Because now I only have two guys down here, and it's a lot easier to work with them now. So let's go ahead and do this trick as we were taught. So there's that. Okay, he platforms across to there. He's going to go in through there, and that's going to put him up with his friends, right? Yeah, and so now one lemming does solve the rest. 
Okay, so now he goes through here. Boink, boink, boink. Okay. So what's gonna happen then? Let's see. That may be the... That may be all the impetus I actually needed. So... Let's go ahead and... What happens now? Where's steel, first of all? Oh, none of this is steel. Okay, except for this little bit. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so do I want to bash through here now and grab all these little fun pickup skills? Is that something I want to do? I'm going to go ahead... Because I think I can see something that it might be. All right. Well, okay, let's start. Let's start moving along up and ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go through here. And I'm gonna take these things right here. All right. So that leaves me with. I'm not gonna climb up this wall just yet and take that walker. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and get to here no builders or anything so how are we getting up to the exit then from here how is that how is that gonna work out for us let's see obviously you're gonna put your platformer right here but where is that gonna get you in terms of where's that gonna get us in terms of getting to the end in a satisfactory fashion okay so now we go from here to here now that I've now that I've seen that beginning, okay, we have a walker here, and they're all going to walk and stuff, and that's going to be f fun. Or maybe, hold on, maybe we want them all walking around at the very beginning here. Let's not do this. Okay, yeah, so they're all safe for now, but let's just kind of, I have a feeling we're going to be creeping up into here and using a kind of, okay, I think we're going to use our walkers. Well, no. Two walkers. Because I think the way we are going to want to do the end here is to cut... Well, hold on. Do we do a basher cutoff kind of thing here? Will he walk up through if he... If we cancel a basher... No, that's not... That's not high enough to get up in there. So it's not that yet. Uh, so let's see, let's, okay, let's, still for now, just kind of, okay, let's, let's go ahead and use the platform for now. Let's go ahead and make, ah, 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 where do you think you're going, Sunny Jim? Okay, so if we build across to here, now say we try, okay, I don't know, I don't know what from here. Okay, so... They're safe to let out, and we don't have to deal with teleporters anymore. So... So where do we take them to now? We, where, do, where do we take them? We're going to be... Huh. So this is going to get... I have a feeling this is going to get really janktastic, where like... I thought maybe what we might do... Well, we've got to use a walker to free him because we save everybody. But... Hmm. Okay, so then from here... What's the order of things? Do we get this built and then... I think we can go ahead and get this built. Okay, so what happens from here? Let's try... Let's try bashing and getting all the... Let's get all the pickups. So that we know what we have left. We're going to go ahead and take this guy. Make him a climber. And we're going to have him shimmy and pick everything up. Okay. So, what? Alright. I feel like he's going to drop. Well, hmm. Everybody's going to need to get up in here somehow. So do I not want to... Do I not want to... Do I want to somehow go up through here? Instead of bashing through here? Because I tried that once already with this whole thing. Do the... Do the cancel out bit. Okay, yeah. You do the cancel. 
but that's not like enough height to get up through there unless like no yeah he doesn't glitch through or anything I guess that was too much to hope for because I feel like what you would want to do okay ja uh, ba 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 okay so go ahead and bash through here because they're gonna need to come up through here to the exit there's no builders and I feel like that's kind of a problem because they need to walk up here you do a basher cancel type of thing and then mine through here but how do you get someone on the other side of this thing without bashing through to here and getting rid of your space okay so climb you climb and then you shimmy i think so the idea would be yeah that you go over here and you let him go up his way i think this is what carries them through to the end here yeah okay uh-huh and then he drops off of there and gets that. Okay. How much of this was steel? None of it. Okay. Okay, so I think what you would do is... Let's come from a little farther back with that. Because we know this is all... Diggable space, so... Maybe we actually want to come from a little farther forward. Yeah, let's do that. Because you need him to do that. You need to leave enough space for the... For the basher cancel to work. I think from like... Yeah, maybe from like here does it. And so he... Yeah, he goes through there... All right, and then he bashes through to the end. Okay, that gets one living saved. But yeah, when you bring everyone else out at that point, they go in through here. Okay, so what happens is they all walk up through this little bit here. Hmm. Okay, let's back up because I think I'm doing some things out of joint. I think I have some of the pieces there for it, but I don't want to, well, okay, you can't, if you don't go through to here, let's go ahead and, okay, is this the steep step where you need the blocker? So if he goes up here, I'm going to put him up there and I'm going to see if they go up through him. But I really don't see what it accomplishes, though. Well, hold up. Okay, yeah, they're all up inside there. Okay, yeah, they're all up inside there now. So I can get him going through here. Okay, this might be something. You go ahead and you bash. Okay, I... Th and then... Okay, yeah, the walker... Okay, yeah. Get that. He goes up through here. Why do we have a second shimmier, though? I'm missing something with the second shimmier. We've got a walker. Okay. Okay, so I feel like what might happen here... Let's see what happens here. Okay, so he goes here. Might be able to mine from a point where they end up walking through the top. Okay. Okay. And then, okay, okay, they get up through there. Yeah, uh-huh. So then theoretically, all of the rest of them can do the same thing. Are we stopping him with a shimmy or is that what we're doing? Okay, so they get, he gets up through there now. So yeah, and they bash through to the end and he shimmies there to kind of cut that off. Okay. All right, all right. Well, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. That was interesting. I won't say it was 
good. And I question about half of its relevance as far as, like, the lessons got applied, but only in very tiny spaces where it didn't seem like the whole level was about using those things. The blocker teleporter thing is the real hang up there. That's the only thing where I got hung up. And after that, I could kind of feel it out. I think overall that was a worse level than checkerboard crossing. Checkerboard crossing, you could at least tell that you needed to do the jump out, clone, and climb thing. So that put in, in that level, it was a little more obvious what you needed to do. But both of those levels, both checkerboard crossing and this one, different kind of space, had the problem where there was something else outside the formula that was really obscure and was and was impeding solving the puzzle. Uh, that is, de yeah, that's definitely the thing those two levels have in common. Uh, they both had this thing that you you had to do that didn't feel like it was taught before. You could maybe extrapolate it from common sense. I feel like the bomber stacker thing in Checkerboard Crossing would be a little easier to stumble on than the blocker teleporter thing because that's kind of taking into account the teleporter's innate slowness. But the blocker teleporter thing was really the only thing that really hampered me on that level. If you have that, then it all comes together. But the problem is, <laughs> you're not very liable to have that. So that's that level. Uh, if I'm given to understand correctly, it's pretty smooth sailing from here on out. I haven't heard about any other levels that really just... Uh, repeatedly punch you in the junk like that. So next time we'll get cracking again and we'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, move right along to on our way to the end of the Neo Limics introduction pack. <laughs>